Want to see something cool? This is a brake hose for a freight train. Don't ask. Over the decades, we've found about as many ways to get fluids from one place to another as the Folsom Street Fair, but this is one of my favorites. It only takes a moment for a brakeman to establish an airtight connection between two freight cars. These things hook up faster than a himbo. Which is what you want, because if it doesn't work right, things grind to a halt and you get expensive sounds in a hurry. It's stable in all weather and it'll operate for years with staggering levels of abuse and neglect known only to those of us who work in critical national infrastructure. When it's not actively connected, everything is totally exposed to all manner of crap and corruption. And I haven't seen SEALs take this much of a beating since my winter at Fort Severn. It's a miracle they function at all. Despite the airtight grip like Conrail does Kegels, the moment the cars pull apart, this disconnects all on its own without fuss, fight, or damage. There's so much pressure inside the hoses that they whip when they pop, and most modern ones even have a little bungee cord to help keep them in line. The fitting on the end is called a glad hand connection because it's clear that some engineer was inspired by a handshake. Ever look at a pair of couplers? It's the same style they use for the air brakes on semi-trailers, but if you're used to these, the first time you see the trucker ones, you just go, "Oh, it's cute, and they look at you funny. But really, I get a lot of that anyways, and that's pretty cool.